From WFSB, this is an Eyewitness News update. Good morning, everyone. Today is Thursday, December uh, December 14th. I'm Nicole Nalep, and we have all of your top headlines today. It marks 11 years on this day since the mass shooting at Sandy Hook Elementary School in Newtown. The Sandy Hook Promise, which is a nonprofit organization, continues to work for gun violence prevention programs and policy making. Now today, flags will be lowered to half staff from sunrise to sunset to remember the 21st graders and six educators who were killed at Sandy Hook Elementary School. Also new overnight, police in Weathersfield are searching for two armed criminals who robbed an auto parts store. Now police say late last night, two people with guns and masks ended up taking money and items from the O'Reilly Auto Parts on the Silas Dean Highway. Thankfully, no one was hurt, but the suspects are still out there. So if you know anything, please give Weathersfield police a call. And a fire has destroyed a home in Middletown just before the holidays. Dozens of firefighters ended up battling the blaze. This was uh, in Middletown on Stantac Road yesterday. No one was home at the time, and there were no injuries. And our Channel 3 archive video shows that other houses in this area have suffered the same situations. There have been an uptick in the fires in this particular area in Middletown. There was a fire in September, one in 2018, and another in 2015. So we reached out to Middletown officials to see if there were any plans to install a fire pond or hydrant lines, because with the latest fire, the closest hydrant was about a mile and a half away too far for something this serious. So we haven't heard back yet from Middletown officials, but as soon as we do, we will be sure to let you know. Fire officials are saying, though, that it would be costly. And the House investigations into President Biden are only escalating after Republicans voted unanimously to launch a formal impeachment inquiry, citing his son's legal troubles. Meantime, Democrats are accusing their GOP counterparts of playing politics and exacting revenge on behalf of twice impeached former President Donald Donald Trump. The president then released a statement accusing Republicans of attacking him. And moving you on to the latest on the Israel-Hamas war. The Israeli military reports that at least nine of their soldiers have been killed during an ambush. And this marks one of the deadliest single attacks by Palestinian militants since the ground invasion began. Now, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has vowed to press ahead with Israel's Gaza offensive, rejecting international pressure for a ceasefire. And a new U.S. intelligence assessment finds nearly half of the Israeli ammunitions dropped on Gaza are unguided dumb bombs, they're called. These weapons are typically less precise, and they can pose an even greater threat to civilians. Now to New Haven, where people are coming together tonight to call for peace. Organizers want a ceasefire in Gaza, and tonight they'll all gather on the New Haven Green, both Palestinians and Jewish people, coming together to sing songs, pray, and hold a candle lighting. The two groups will also gather to show peace in a united front, and they are calling for the pain and the suffering to end. So this event starts again on the New Haven Green at 5 o'clock. This morning, police in Bridgeport are searching for a person of interest after a woman's body was found in a shopping cart. Now, the body of 37-year-old Rakeda Baker was found right off of Stratford Avenue in a parking lot back on November 3rd. And detectives say that surveillance video shows what appears to be a man pushing her in the shopping cart. They believe that this man was walking on 5th Street at the time, and this video was taken about three days before the woman's body was found. Police are asking the public if they know who this man may be, if they have any information, please make sure to give them a call. But they say that he may live on the east end of Bridgeport. And this morning, there's justice for the family of a teen who was shot and killed in New Haven. Kian Matheny was sentenced to 33 years in prison yesterday for killing John Tubak Sequil last year. Prosecutors say that he shot the 17-year-old after an argument on Poplar Street. The victim had just graduated high school and was preparing to head to college. And this morning, a man is in jail after an attempted burglary in New Haven. Now, our Pinpoint News Tracker shows you exactly where this happened. It was right on Grand Avenue, right in between uh, Blackley and also James Streets. Now, police were called to the area when they found and arrested a suspect at the time. He is now being charged with criminal attempt to commit third-degree burglary and criminal mischief in the second degree. And we have some more video of yet another violent street takeover. So this one happened early Saturday morning in Derby on Pershing Drive. 
You can see in this video, people are hurling fireworks at police officers and bystanders. Look at that. Thankfully, no one was seriously hurt, but this is one of six street takeovers that happened last weekend around the state. And police in Derby are now looking for anyone who was involved. So give them a call if you have any information. 705. Hi, everybody. Good morning. First alert. Live radar scans the state dry. We have issued a first alert for Monday, and both models are in agreement that it's going to rain here, and we could pick up two to plus inches of rain. Two plus inches of rain possible with gusty winds in excess of 40 miles an hour. Nuisance flooding, isolated power outages. This is Monday. We're at Thursday. We have to talk about the cold out there. We've got the beautiful eye cam shot in Mystic this morning looking absolutely terrific. And as we take a look at uh, the first alert temperatures 21 25 the typical overnight low is 25. We're there in Waterbury, Torrington, Bradley, Tolland, Willimantic. Everybody's pretty much at 25 this morning, if not a little bit cooler. Now, there is a gentle breeze out there this morning, anywhere from 4 to 10. Uh, so that makes the temperatures feel even colder. 14, 15 at Bradley and in Torrington, 18 in Waterbury. This is bundle up weather, folks. Grab that coat. You're going to need it. 34 to 39 today, sunny and cold. No clouds out there to speak of. Uh, it'll be briefly colder today, and then that's going to exit tomorrow. We're calling for a high of 52 degrees. Dry through most of the weekend until Sunday night, and then Monday we have once again gone ahead and issued that first alert. Futurecast, tomorrow's weather today shows us an hour-by-hour -hour depiction of not a lot going on. So it's going to be a beautiful day today. And then you'll notice the shift in wind out of the south and west and that's going to pump those temperatures up tomorrow into the low 50s. Hartford, gorgeous. 28 degrees, though, a little chilly. Uh, New Haven, you've got the, the warmest number on the map at 30. And here comes that sun. 7-Eleven is the sun up. And you can see it right here on our eye cam. Here comes that sun. Beautiful. All right, let's take it. Oh, isn't Old Saybrook oh, absolutely gorgeous? Just stunning this morning. So really, really beautiful. And uh, we'll take you to Middletown right now where it's equally as nice. All right, uh, some temperatures in from you. Our weather watches, Myrna and Chaplin at 23. Steve and Litchfield at 22. New London, thank you, Brittany, at 27. We've got Mystic, Darlene at 29. Lebanon and Steve at 23. And Lance and Shelton at 20 as well. Here comes the sun, but here comes the cold. Temperatures only marching into the upper 30s today. More of the same for the immediate shoreline, maybe a degree or two warmer, possibly 39, but I don't see any 40s today. Typical daytime high for this time of year is 41. Forecasted highs today, 35 in Torrington, 36 in Waterbury, 39 in New Haven. A little bit better along the shoreline than in inland Connecticut, but not by much. All right, your overnight lows tonight dropping into the low to mid 20s, very similar to this morning, mostly clear and cold. And then here comes your seven day sunshine, sunshine and better temperatures tomorrow. Look at that 52 degrees, 49 on Saturday, rain at night on Sunday, a first alert for Monday. Tuesday, showers in the morning, giving way to partial clearing. And then Wednesday looks good with a high of 39 degrees. Here come your shoreline highs. Look at Monday, 58 and 57. That is a rainy event. No snow. All right, Nicole, we'll send it back to you. Matt, it was a snow event, oh, right? <laughs> All right, well, we'll take the sunshine. Enjoy it. Thanks so much for tuning in to Eyewitness News. Remember, you can get news and weather updates anytime on the Channel 3 app. We're going to leave you with this view from our Rocky Hill Eye Cam, looking straight towards the skyline of Hartford. Have a great day, everyone. Be healthy. Stay positive.